Good day everybody, uh, Trapper Forever here. We're uh, just loading up the quad here. Uh, we're going to... Uh, I set a few beaver traps yesterday so we're going to go check them right away and uh, also I uh, might set a few uh, muskrat uh, poles here with the hags brackets. I've uh, never used them before so I'll give them a try. I'm going to use uh, 1.75 coil springs for them. Uh, see how they work. A uh, yeah, I've never used them before. Simple as that. I'm baiting them with carrots, I guess, and see how it goes. So, uh, I got some issues with uh, colder weather, and it's been really windy the last uh, few days. So, it's been hard to uh, get any traps boiled or what have you. So, we'll go for a ride and uh, see if we picked up any beavers there, and uh, get. Uh, four of these muskrat uh, sets hopefully in and uh, had some other stuff I had to uh, run run into uh, town today so I kind of uh, got a late start here so we'll uh, see what we can find maybe uh, cut a, a birch tree or something uh, for some firewood for the way home I'm taking the trailer for some bait so anyway we'll uh, just uh, do that uh, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon, so uh, just got my quad and a few of those uh, rods. Hopefully they stay where I put them and uh, we'll uh, see how it goes. Anyway, we'll uh, talk to everybody in a while. Hopefully we'll catch a beaver or two. Uh, give us something to do tonight. So anyway, we'll talk to everybody later. Hey there again everybody. Uh, just out on the line here and uh, had some beaver traps and no luck. So I uh, set uh, these uh, hags brackets with the poles, baited with carrots. I got four of them here. So I uh, forgot to bring some electrical tape, so hopefully uh, they don't slip off. I guess I'll have to fish for them or whatever if they do. But uh, one beaver trap though uh, did connect with something. Just. Uh, down below here I had a set. It's always been a good uh, spot for beavers for me, but uh, looks like we picked up a nice muskrat there. So, of course I didn't bring my uh, trap setter, so I have to hand bomb it today, but we shall uh, remove him first catch of the year, I guess. So, it's the muskrat, but uh, I guess we'll take it uh, anyway. So, that's it for uh, right now. I uh, Gonna dump some bait right away and uh, take another little uh, ride down one trail. I gotta do a, a little bit of cleaning before the night's out. So, anyway, we'll talk to everybody later. Good morning, everybody. It's Trapper Forever here. I uh, just out uh, checking a few beaver traps here. Uh, sorry, I haven't posted anything for uh, a little while here, but uh, our open water beaver and muskrat season kind of. Uh, went into the dumpster here. Uh, I've had some really cold temperatures over the last week at night and everything's frozen up pretty solid here so I uh, don't know. I'm gonna have to uh, wait till it freezes solid, maybe get a few under the ice for bait or what have you, but as you can see she's uh, she's pretty solid. But uh, I did catch a beaver here just on, uh, on the dam. I had it set uh, on the dam away from the water, so um, finally picked one up. So I had a had the trap over here, but uh, closed it a few times and uh, didn't uh, block the water from running. So uh, I'll uh, probably reset this one on the dam. And uh, not sure if this is just. Uh, a bachelor beaver here or, or what the situation was but I'll reset it. I just had it kind of uh, in the middle of the dam here away from the water so but uh, looks like I caught him on the way up. Looks like a pretty decent sized beaver so maybe we'll uh, I'll pull him out of there and uh, give you a look and uh, there's a little bit of open water here but it's uh, that dam's really soft so I, uh, don't want to get the boots wet today, so anyway, I'll uh, get them out of there and I'll uh, reset it and I'll uh, show you how the, the setup was on the dam. 
well, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that, but uh, the sets we made about halfway uh, up or down the dam there. And there's the beaver. He's kind of a uh, reddish color, what have you, but uh, get some bait anyway out of him. So. I'm not sure if there's another beaver here or not. I don't think there's any young ones, but uh, there's kind of a uh, feed pile bank den just over there. Feed pile doesn't look very big, but I just uh, let a little bit of water go here and uh, we'll see if uh, anything uh, comes close as it tonight or whatever. So that's it. So finding a beaver. Some funny something to show you guys. I'm going to spend the rest of the day doing some bait. Uh, got a few more traps there that are probably frozen and I'll have to knock out. And uh, just going to go get uh, some cars off of my trail cam, see what's been coming around. Uh, deer hunting black powder started. Went out yesterday morning, seen about three bucks. One fairly decent one, he was sparring with another one, but he was like uh, the other end of the field. and. Uh, they didn't uh, come towards where I was. So. Anyway, we'll uh, take this guy, throw him on the pod, and uh, continue on for the rest of the day. I'll uh, turn you on if someone else uh, shows up. Hey there everybody, uh, Trapper Forever here. It's uh, Saturday the 17th, I guess, and uh, haven't set too many traps yet, but uh, we're just out of the gravel pit, me and a couple friends here, and uh, black powder season starts on uh, Monday, I guess. So uh, I uh, pulled this out for uh, for the day, and I haven't shot it since last year. So I'm gonna just uh, pretty much see where it's hit. And, uh, there's uh, kind of a few flurries today coming down, but uh, it's a little chilly. The wind is a little bit crisp, so I'll take a shot, see where it lands. I guess, eh? So it's a 50 caliber. Uh, Thompson Center, stainless. Yeah, you hit it. Well, I hit the target, I guess. <laughs> <So> <laughs> anyway, I'll give these other guys a shot. Kind of running out of uh, primers here, but uh, I'm going to take a few shots anyway. So. We'll see where it hits. We're only shooting about 75 yards. Uh, I'd like to be about, I don't know, at least uh, two, three inches high at that. So we'll uh, take a few shots, see what happens. We'll talk to everybody later. You ready? You're ready. All right. You hit her, buddy. Well, that ain't no muzzle loader. Uh, just 3030. Uh, 30. What model is that? Is it a Marlin or no? Yeah. 170 green. You shoot anything with it yet? No. It's well, more for backup. Yeah. Varmints. <laughs> <laughs> for chickens. <laughs> and, and rocks. <laughs> anyway, uh, that first shot I took with the uh, black powder, she was about, knocked the sign over, but she was about five inches high at about 75 yards. So uh, that's a little high, but uh, we'll uh, see what the next shot takes. It uh, was dead on center, but uh, just a little high, so anyway, we'll uh, take another shot, see how we 